Okay, um, so far we've been working with just one measure and uh, I haven't really covered uh, how to add other measures and duplicate melodies and, and all that kind of structural uh, type of uh, operation that uh, we, you know, you, you need to make. So let's dive into, into that uh, area of the melody editor, okay? So making another uh, measure or bar is uh, wonderfully easy and extremely obvious. You just hit this plus sign. Okay, so boom, that makes another bar, and I can make uh, three bars, I can make four bars, and remember that when we put the mouse above the grid, uh, there's kind of a dark area and then a slightly lighter area, so I would call it the bottom half, um, if we, div uh, this whole black area between the grid and these uh, rectangular colored lines, uh, this kind of this area for uh, whatever you want to call it or uh, the bottom half okay when you're on the bottom half you get like this uh, iron cross icon I think the that's what the Germans called it and uh, you can drag this up and down okay it's it's very seamless it works beautifully it works as well as any uh, any DAW I've ever seen actually actually works better. Maybe Fruity Loops is about the same, but uh, nothing works better than this that I've tried. Okay, so, you know, zoom zoom in and out. It's just that simple. Okay? So now we've got four bars. Uh, you want to erase a bar? Very simple. There's an X here. So that's how we erase a bar. So now we've got two bars in 4-4, four, four, and uh, our grid is set to eighth notes. Okay, now we've got uh, nothing in the second bar, and uh, we want to look at these uh, these circles here, these these letters A, B, C, and uh, and see what's going on. So, what if we click on A? Let's see what happens. Okay, so A is the what happens in um, the notes in in the second bar A are exactly the same as the notes in the first bar. Now, by the way, uh, the term that the melody editor uses it's the notes within these bars. Uh, mel the editor, melody editor terms those motives. Okay, and uh, they are, from a musical theory point of view, uh, they they are motives, okay? But uh, there's a, there's a difference. Uh, the definition of a of a melody motive in musical theory um, is is a little bit different um, than this definition of motives. I think this definition of motives is simply the notes that appear under you know, within the grid for that measure. That's the motive, okay? So if we have four measures, uh, we've, in each one of those measures, we've got a motive, all right? And the motives are given labels like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, I think there's a limit of eight of them, okay? So within each bar, uh, we have the motive. And we can um, we can select the motive. We can have different motives, up to eight motives, as I said. Um, now I said that they're exactly the same. Well, why doesn't you know a, a person first looking at this melody editor would say, well, well, no, gee, uh, they're not the same because uh, let's say in beat one, like the the E there is two eighth notes, but in in bar two, it's one quarter note, and then in beats three, four, and five, you've got uh, four dotted eights, and you've got a dotted half, okay? But here's the thing. Remember what we talked about with the variations being on and variations being off. So if you look over at the icon under the first measure, 
there's variations on, and we know that those are the uh, uh, the split long notes variation, okay? But the variation is not on, there's no variation on in bar two. So that's why they look different, okay? But if we put the mouse over bar one, we can see that without the variation, the two motives are the same. So A in bar one is exactly the same, or I should put it this way. The A in bar 2 is exactly the same as the A in bar 1. However, they uh, that's when I say that they're exactly the same, I mean that they're the exact they are exactly the same if no variations are applied. So that's the concept here. I think you're starting to get this that you can have this basic raw material and the raw material can be the same in each measure or each bar, but the variations are going to change. And that's so interesting. That's, that's really very, very musical if you think about it. Because, you know, traditionally, uh, that's the way composers worked. They, they have the same motive repeating, but they change the motive a little bit, in, you know, successively. Okay? So that's exactly what is going on here. We have A is our motive. We've got it in bar one. And A is our motive. We've got it in bar two. But we're going to have changes uh, by applying these variations. We're going to change the raw material. Uh, and so it'll be different from the two bars. From bar one, bar one will be different than bar two. Okay? So that's the idea. And I know I'm kind of... I might be beating a dead horse about this thing, but I think that uh, for me, in any event, really kind of getting the uh, concept down and thinking about it in a musical way, kind of comparing it and equating it with, uh, you know, standard kind of music theory and the way you'd work with, uh, you know, on a, on a grand staff, uh, it, it's helpful. It's really, it's really helpful. Um, but that's just me. Uh, so anyway, uh, now, what if we wanted, an obvious question, like, what if we wanted to uh, copy the uh, bar one from bar two with the variations? Like, you know, can we do that? Okay, so let's take a look. Let's delete bar two and see if we we can do that now I think if we can do this I'm really not sure this is not a rhetorical question so if I put my mouse cursor inside the grid and I write a uh, right click I get these uh, I get this option here and I think the way we copy bar one uh, the motive in bar one to motive in bar two with the variation I think we do that with the clone motive command. So let's try that. Uh, no, that was not it. There's an undo bar here. Okay, so it's not that. Okay, I think it's, I'm sorry, duplicate section. I think that's it. Duplicate section. And section apply means bar. Okay, as far as I can tell, they're the same. Section is a bar. So let's let's do duplicate section. If I'm right, it should make a bar two that's exactly the same as bar one with the same variation, okay? And lo and behold, uh, that's what happens. So if I take my mouse cursor off of outside the grid, both bar one and bar two are the same, okay? So uh, that uh, so we can see a difference there. Uh, let's go back just to kind of really nail this concept. Let's uh, delete this, okay? So if I create an empty bar, and then I hit A, okay, it's going to bring in the unaffected notes, the notes without the variations. It's going to bring those in, and and so we have no variation. And there, there are going to be times when that's exactly what we want, okay? But... Let's delete this. But if I just want to 
really duplicate the bar with the variations I right click and I hit uh, duplicate section and and that's what I get I get uh, bar 2 now has the same exact variations that appear in bar 1 now you might I don't know if you caught it but you have a command of duplicate melody so what's the difference between duplicate section and duplicate melody well you know typically uh, you know melodies uh, are going to be like two bars long and they might uh, be exactly the same except for the last note like in the first one you might uh, the melody might end on uh, like on a half cadence or, or end on a the second degree if you're in C major it might end on D or it might end on G you know whatever uh, it doesn't matter and then you have exactly the same melody uh, for two bars from bars uh, three and four and it, it ends on the tonic on C okay and you just basically all you have to do is just change the ending note or change the last two notes so let's say you want to do that basic operation so what do you have to do well you basically have to copy bars two one and two into three and four and then make the change in bar four the little tweak at the end okay the cadence right and that's what all composers do so uh, the the way you do that here is you just right click and you hit duplicate melody okay and there there we've got it it's it's duplicated the first two bars exactly and then we'd go in and uh, on on the fourth bar we change uh, we change the last couple of notes make a cadence or something like that so that's the concept okay so we got uh, uh, we've got again we've got duplicate section it copies the bar with the variations duplicate melody copies all the bars uh, with the variations and and that's uh, okay uh, it looks like we've got some other nice commands I haven't really looked at glue section with next uh, but we'll get into that we'll get into that okay I'll see you uh, let's stop there uh, and I'll see you next time thank you